So I'm going to explain the analog right and analog read in one particular video. So the analog right, which is here, this is analog right because we are trying to read, uh, we are talking to analog pin. You know, Arduino have six analog pin that starts from A0 to A5. So we have A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. So that is the analog pin on the Arduino Uno board. So whenever we want to talk to those analog pin, we call the analog function. Or whenever we want to read from those analog read, we call the analog read function. Just like digital that has its function whenever you want to read or write to digital pins. So now we are talking about analog write. This analog write is a 8-bit uh, function that starts from 0 to 255. I don't want to go in details to talk about the resolution of all those things that uh, that the ADC has, the Arduino ADC has, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to make this course as simple as ABCD. So know that this analog write has 8-bit value. We start from 0 to 255. That 0 to 255 means uh, they vary because this analog pin act like a regulator, like a PWM that you can value the uh, the voltage. Either you are reading from it, if you are reading from it, you can take an analog pin that is varying, that has any variation on it. Or whether you are writing to it as an output, you are giving analog output that can vary the value. It's not like digital pin that only gives 0 or 5 volts. But in analog, you can vary the voltage. But in digital, you, you can only get 0 volts and 5 volts. Unless you are using a digital PWM. But now we are not talking about digital PWM. We are talking about analog input and output. How we can get a varying voltage. Either 1.5, 2.5, 2.7. Any varying voltage. If you want to get any varying voltage out from the Arduino analog pin, you use the analog write. Whenever you want to read any varying voltage, any value, any voltage that is varying, just like from like a sensor, you want to use sensor that, that can read a, a regulated voltage, then you use the analog read. So whenever you want to write to the analog write, whenever you want to give a, a varying voltage in the analog pin, you use this analog uh, write by starting with the, vo uh, the pin that you want to talk to, and the voltage you want to give it to. And you know that this analog write starts from 0 to 255. It's not like the digital pin that will write high or low, no. Whenever you want to give an, a varying voltage in the analog pin, you use this 0 or 25, depending on the voltage you want. For example, if you need a 0 voltage, you write 0. If you need a 1.5 voltage, that means you have to go be higher than either 10 or 20 it depends on the value you put here so let me show you the how it works so that you can be able to understand it so first we go to our pin mode to change the analog to switch to analog pin so we want to use analog uh, a2 so i'm going to use analog a2 then set it as output then come to this analog right it takes two parameters the pin and what you want to write it so I want to write to uh, A2 pin of the analog, then use a comma. Then I say that any value, any value you want to write to the analog is from 0 to 255. 255 is the maximum. And that one, once you write 255, that means you want to get a 5 volts output at the analog pin. So if I write 255, that means I'm getting a 5 volts at the analog pin. Then, but if I write 1... Half of that 255, let me say 115. That means I'm getting a two point something. Depending on how many the voltage that you want to vary. If you want to get 3.5, you vary the voltage. You come up, you be increase any number you increase in this value, increase the voltage that you are getting in the analog output. That's why they call it analog output because you can be able to get the chance to vary the voltage, unlike the digital pin. That has either low or high so in analog you can vary the voltage using this value that i told you from 0 to 255 so that is how analog write function works then for the analog read 
it has uh, it, it it can read from zero to one hundred and twenty uh, twenty three. That is the bit rate, the highest value, just like this analog right. So whenever you want to read a value which is from zero volts to five volts, then you have to set it here, and it takes only one parameter, which is the pin that you want to read. Then in our next, uh, maybe whenever we want to do the practical work of using analog read, I will tell you how to read an analog signal.